Welcome back to Marbella Now. I'm delighted to start off the programme today with one of my favourite faces in Marbella, and that is that of Cora J. Caradas. She is our Others Caradas, our food fairy, amongst many other things. Cara, how lovely to see you, but what on earth has happened to you? Oh, I just uh, I crushed the bone in uh, between my car and my gate, so nothing too horrendous. Nothing too horrendous. It's amazing how, regardless, you do have that personality it would seem that you just get up and you carry on well yeah well, I mean I had I actually had uh, appointments uh, with the lawyer just after doing it so I, I had to just sort of leave the hospital and go straight to back to work but when you say appointments with lawyers people always think especially my boat oh but actually in this <laughs> instant it's something to celebrate I suppose a bittersweet moment yeah. because as I understand it the boardwalk is no longer yours no no she's sold and um, we signed yesterday um, and as you say, it is, it is a bit of a sweet thing, but, you know, with the way that COVID is and the restrictions and everything with uh, foreigners coming over, I mean, the boardwalk, has, it's an amazing, amazing seven years of my life, but it does rely on, on tourism. Um, so we was very lucky to get an offer and uh, we accepted. Very nice timing for you and obviously yeah. for the person coming in, they've got all the new expectations. Yeah. But in those seven years, Cora, you've achieved recognition that has taken you all the way to good morning britain yeah. in the sense of when they come over that's yeah. where they've come to that's where they've held all their we interviews we actually filmed brexit there as well yeah so in the sense of you've you really got had a name for yourself not yeah. just here and we won best restaurant in marbella two years running as well which we was particularly proud of but um more than that I, it's not really the awards that you walk away from but we did win a lot but that's not the things that I'll, I'll take with me from the boardwalk. It's the people that I met, the staff that we had, and the relationships that you build from having a restaurant. I mean, it really, really is bittersweet, but there's so much that you can take away. And you grow so much as a person as well. I mean, seven years, you know, you really build as a person. So it will be interesting going forward to do new things. But you've built a lot of other people up and you've helped a lot of other people open career opportunities. You've taken in orphans turning 18 yeah, from Malaga, from boys. the orphanages. They've become head chefs in the sense mm -hmm. you're all encompassing in your business and they're every single day. Yeah, and I mean, the thing is, the, the boardwalk has always been very community um, spirited. We've always, you know, during COVID, we turned it into a food bank and... I think it is a loss to the community that she's not going to be there. Although Victor and Anton, the two new guys, they're Swedish, they're young and, you know, they're vivacious. They're absolutely gasping to get in there and start their own and, mark, you know, put their own mark on it. And luckily, um, you know, some of our staff are staying there as well. Bruno, Johnny yes. and, yeah, yes. Cairo, <laughs> yeah. And a couple of the chefs are staying as well. So I'm really, you know, it's, it's a... It's something you take with pride when someone says they want to keep your staff. They want to, you know, keep a lot of the things the same in the boardwalk. So you can walk away with pride for something that you've done there. And I think your loyal guests, clients will be very grateful because we've become an extended family. You treat yeah. very much your staff as a family. Yeah, I mean, we're lucky because obviously we still have the harbour, um, which is Penny and Mark's restaurant, my sister. Um, so we do share a lot of the same clientele, so it's going to be nice that I'll be out and I'll be on the other side of it, just enjoying the cocktails and the food for everybody else instead of having the worry. Because, you know, in restaurants, you know, the stress is unbelievable. It genuinely is. And it's, and it's 24 hours a day. You know, you, you never sort of come out of it. I don't think I'll jump straight back into a restaurant again. Um, I'll be looking at other, other, other opportunities. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a strange one. I'm still sort of getting my head around it, to be honest with you. Well, you've got two young boys, and as you say, mm. you do have the harbour to go to, which actually, incidentally, I was there on Sunday because they had live music with the lovely Laura Carter, who will be a guest tomorrow. Oh, it's Laura and I was just, It was so much fun downtown singing. The food I'm a huge fan of Laura. I love her. Is excellent. The service at the harbour mm. is now spot on. The yeah, team there I've is I've also excellent. I've literally just left um, from a family lunch, so, uh, and it was fantastic. It sort of put me a bit of a food coma, to be honest. But 
<laughs> try to wake myself up. <laughs> it's okay. Just do, you just digest, take it easy. We'll actually be going back again on the 22nd of April yes. for a triple A Marbella event well, at the harbour. Well, it's not triple A. It's yeah. actually, it's another um, charity that they basically, it's a Spanish, very lovely Spanish couple. They took in one dog and now they've ended up with 70. Oh, wow. um, so, yeah, we've got that event coming up on the 22nd. Oh, that's super, because obviously it's all the animals. We're all in this together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the, the problem is for these smaller charities that aren't recognised, it is very hard for them to make money. Um, so this is sort of trying to put them on the map, pretty similar to what I did uh, back in 2016 with Last Chance, um, with doing the calendar and things. We'd like to give the smaller charities a bit of recognition because, you know, they're all struggling massively now. Exactly. Some of them get, you know, more support than others and other ones yeah. are just literally individuals doing the yeah. very best that they can. Well, you, I mean, I know what it's like. You do, you take one and then before you know it, I mean, I think it was, I think it was about 28 I had at one point when I was bottle feeding all the puppies, you know, and you do, you just think, oh, you know, another couple ain't going to matter. And before you know it, the yard's filled. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty much what's happened to them. And that's pretty much what happened to the boardwalk when you started with the food fairies with others Kalal. You just were bringing in a few bags and before you knew it, the restaurant was turned into a receiving and distribution depot. Yeah. Everyone coming and going, traveling everywhere. Tell us where you're at now with others Kalal. Um, well, we're sort of, I mean, the, the thing with Hadis Karadis is we don't just do one thing. We work with domestic violence, we work with orphanages, we work with everything. Um, one of the things that I've been particularly concerned about over the last couple of months is the extreme amount of pressure being placed on the rescue centres here and the amount of dogs that are being abandoned. Um, from sort of doing some research in it into the last sort of month uh, where these animals are coming from and why they're there, it seems to be a reoccurring story that the animals are being dumped simply because the families can't afford to feed themselves. So a lot of the time, you know, they're actually doing it with love. They're giving this dog up because they can't afford to feed it which for me, I think, is absolutely heartbreaking because this dog could be in a home, you know, and all we're doing, it's a vicious circle, you know, the, the, the shelter's filled to capacity. So we're going to do for the whole uh, month of April, um, Jack, my partner in Haddis Gradis, has come up with um, Animals de Abril. So it's going to be the month of animals for anybody that can't afford to feed their animals, if they can contact us, we will bring food to you. Please don't abandon them because, you know, it's, it's just making uh, an already really bad situation even worse. So we're um, we're going to be focusing heavily on that this month. Well, next month. Uh, well, this month. This month goes it's out this on the month. show. Yes. It's already um, this month. Yeah. So this is going to be our focus for the month. We're very lucky that EIC, who are absolutely, I mean, as a school, they really are fabulous. And Chris Long, the headmaster there, they raised um, 580 odd euros. I think it was for us with their Valentine's thing. But they're always doing something. They really are. They're really so community spirited. Um, I've really got a lot of time for that school. And their six, uh, six, six form, is it? Yeah, six form team are just unbelievable. And they've been sort of driving, the driving force for us. So we're really, really lucky to have had their support. It's nice to see because obviously people do love their animals. They're great companions. Yeah. But there are people who are struggling. And to not lose those companions, it's so far reaching this crisis. Yeah, that none I mean. None of us could have anticipated where it was going to go. No, this is the thing. It is, it is like, a, you know, you throw a stone and it just keeps going and going. And the ripple effect of COVID seems to be like it's, not ever, it's never ending. I mean, we're still feeding families. Um, we, we're certainly seeing that this, it's becoming, you know, the people think it's over in a sense that people are going back to work and stuff, but there's still so many, so many people struggling. These are people that have already been kicked out of their houses. It's already got to the stage now that once you've not paid your rent for a certain time, which is where they're at now, they're being made homeless. So, I mean, I don't know if anyone's noticed, the streets are filling with homeless people. We really have a long way to go with this. But again, if we all stick together and we're all helping each other, you know, it's, it, it sounds like a small thing, but it's not to let somebody know that you're there for them or that you're going to continue to help them. And that if everyone is still in it together, even though they've sort of gone back to their own lives, we're all still in the same situation. Exactly. It's not maybe not the focal point now because it can't be. No. Those of us who are moving have to keep moving, but we all want not leave to, anyone though. behind. Yeah, we, we sort of, I mean, I'm so sick of the word COVID, as I'm sure everybody else is, but... The fact of the matter is there are people still out there going hungry. There's animals that are being abandoned. There's people that are losing their houses and there's still a hell of a lot more work to do. Well, I'm really looking forward to you having an actual 
summer in the city without yeah. having to organise your teams unless you get yourself well, involved in. I've already started a few different other projects, so I'm going to be extremely busy. Um, there'll be no relaxing time for me, but I don't like to relax, you know. The second day into COVID, I was started the food fair. Is It's not, for me, if my mind overworks, I, I, I just, I can't stand it. I like to, as soon as I get a, a spare minute, I take on something else. So it's just amazing to see you looking so well, and I can't... Thank you congratulate you enough on the Thank sale you. of the boardwalk in case you missed it breaking news the boardwalk yes. will no longer be run will no longer be the boardwalk Cora no longer be there but there are is a new team they're keeping yeah. on a lot of the staff which really is just awesome That's, i mean we're Absolutely me and charlie are both awesome. over the moon about that obviously my twin sister she still has mirage but you know boardwalk was her baby she's the the idea behind the boardwalk and uh yeah, I mean, it's bittersweet, but, you know, sometimes you have to go. It's the correct business decision. It's not for the heart, it's not right, but for the head it is. So. And then how fortunate that when the right thing just meets up that someone wants the space, because it is frontline yeah. beach in La Fontaine. Well, funny amazing. enough, I was actually in there cleaning to open up again. And two guys come walking in and said, you're harder to get in touch with than the Queen. And I said, who are you? They said, oh, we want to buy. And I, I, we was actually, as I say, cleaning to open, so... Yeah, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Yeah. You being on the programme is also perfect um, timing. I'm really I know. Glad to see you. <laughs> it's like, with all the restrictions, without mentioning the, the, the word, yeah. it is difficult to get together. Yeah. But to summarise, on the 22nd of April, not At only you can actually see Cara and the team of the harbour, and the name of the charity, do you remember oh, the woman? Please. I'm just terrible with names, as you know, but it's a, it's a Spanish name I'm, I'll send over okay, the Okay, but it's raising money for animals that really just need to eat. Yeah, it's, I kept. mean, it's a registered charity, but um, they're, just, they're just unknown, so we're hoping to give them a bit of recognition for what they're doing. Wonderful. Well, Cara, we have to leave it there. Our time is up. But thanks to Cara, a lot of people have been given more time to get their stuff together than they would have anticipated from others, Carruthers Food Fairies, also for your dedication to the boardwalk and the community, because mm -hmm. literally walking in there was like walking in home from home. Thank you. And I hope you Thank find you. the next home as comfortable and welcome. Oh, I will. I will. Yeah, watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. We're going over to a break now, but don't go away because there's more coming up. Hey, hey. Judy likes to consider herself a clever young woman, which is why she thought very carefully before choosing her insurance company. Now that she needs it, she's jolly glad she chose Linear Director, as it looks as if she might have something better to do. Why don't you be clever like Judy? Call Linear Director on 952 14 78 34 and see which policy is best for you. When I'm the designated driver, I think it's only fair that I get to choose a Zero Hero venue that rewards me with free soft drinks. My friends all get to choose and booze and they feel safe going home with me. Make sure that you get your reward for being the designated driver. Why pay if you don't have to? Hi guys, Ross here from Hoganstown. Proud to be a member of the Zero Hero campaign. And uh, we recommend everybody. Nobody drives drinking. Everybody who drives a car doesn't have any alcohol in their system. And we're proud to sponsor the Zero Hero program. is happy to be zero hero partner. How cool is that? <laughs> GY. Let the music okay. are proud to present Zero to Hero. Never drink and drive. So much trouble. Mike Moses is proud to be a zero hero partner. Out of bounds, zero hero partners. Here we are, sticker going on, delighted to welcome everybody and to be part of the Zero Hero campaign. Delighted. Zero Hero, welcome here. here. And they now turn in our rooms. Welcome 
welcome to Lemongrass Doña Lola. Thank you very much. Hiro Hiro, welcome to Portofino, Cabo Pino. Kazutua is proud to welcome the Zero Heroes. So come on in and enjoy free soft drinks for anyone who is the designated driver. Thank you, Nicole. We're going over now to Centro Comercial Plaza because Micaela has come up with a new concept cafe, Choco Fruits. come up with the idea well, of not just making magical surprises but making this beautiful little coffee shop well um, let me tell you something I was talking to a friend and she showed me some chocolate strawberries and then I liked them for myself I've done it one night and then by working the chocolate for me it was something like wow I love doing this and I, I mean I do and then when I start to do it every day and, and get more into it and find information and all that then I realized that it's something that I really enjoy doing and it makes me happy. And I mean, everyone loves chocolate, obviously. And I can see that now, the name's Choco Fruit. Yeah. But I can see here, now what you're talking about, this is spectacular. <laughs> yeah. All different fruits based in different chocolates. Yeah, and we have more than, I will be having more than that. And uh, bananas and cherries and depends on the... Um, on the um, time the season, of the year, yes. on the season, yeah, depends on the season. So um, the, you're now serving your choco fruit. I yeah, see here you've got your lovely cakes. Yeah, we have homemade cakes, all natural ingredients, everything good quality. Then we have uh, natural juices every day for breakfast, all cold pressed juices. And then we have healthy toast. So we wanna, basically what I wanna do is mix the chocolate, the sweet, with a bit of healthiness. So that's why I will have all this uh, fast and healthy toast. So it's sweet and savory. Yeah, sweet and savory. And then I will be having all these cute toast for, for kids. Healthy and entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> and then kids uh, always will get like a free uh, lollipop and then, um, we do like workshops for chocolate. We will do special events for charity because I want to support AAA charity. I want to support uh, Fundacion Olivares from Malaga and then a lot of different events and parties that we're going to be doing. Well, it's a fabulous opening and Thank with you. none other than Moe Chandon. Yeah, they were uh, like a sponsor for us. 
Congratulations. Thank and you so much. the artwork on the wall also is very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's from Santa Lady in my country, Romania, where I'm originally from. And uh, she done that. Well, she's done a beautiful job. Thank you. Just believe it. Padron Recording Studios. This is super. Hello. How are you? Hi. So, um, Alenda, how's things going at the recording studios? Well, at oh, my Rio Padron, which is now is Padron Studios, uh, is at, at top. Uh, and now in this real moment, many many bands come to coming to to our studio to record, to rehearse, and uh, to to get the chance as as maximum as possible because the summer is coming and we hope uh, something is going to change. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Listen, uh, we need music. Everybody needs music. Musicians like uh, Mr. Martin Creek playing right now is an uh, extremely good professional. They need to start playing. They need to start working. And our facilities in the recording studio, in, in, in Padron Studios, is so easy. Come and share one of the, our rooms and rehearse with your band. Even if you have a band or you are a single artist, come and, and, and have a rehearsal. We, we give us to you the first, the first one is for free. Eh? So you can check the, our uh, installations, our, our uh, building and, and our rooms and our equipment. Fabulous. So enjoy, uh, call us or contact through Facebook and come to our studio to rehearse. With Fabulous. Carlos, Hi, so Mr. nice to see you here. <laughs> the guy in charge of Centro Plaza. To have a new place like this, Choco Fruits, that is so exquisite, is a lovely addition to the center. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Nicole, uh, today is a special day because I have a new opinion, uh, Choco Fruit. Uh, the concept is fantastic and the product is delicious. Uh, you should try it. No? Yes, you, you it is absolutely. No? And also pretty beautiful. Strawberry presented. with chocolate. The strawberry with chocolate is fantastic. And it's nice to hear that there are other new openings on the horizon. Yes, um, uh, today is, is here with uh, this opening, but uh, next uh, week uh, we have a new opening, no? our, our other restaurant. Um, it, this time uh, haven't been easy, but uh, we have a, a, a work hub no? uh, with, with a lot of motivation. Uh, but from the spring and summer, uh, with a, a good uh, percent of occupancy but now no is no is uh, bad because uh, we have a uh, 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 19 percent no, of occupancy is is well for this uh, it's for, very for this good ride. and but a lot of places are still it, open very good, very so good. do come down to the yes. central plaza there's a lot open yes. even today on a sunday which is nice <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, uh, in this uh, this case, uh, with all our office is occupied, okay. But um, I, I have a little uh, available local, but uh, I think that uh, in four uh, four months uh, we have a have a will will be have a seven percent occupancy again. Congratulations. <laughs> it's lovely to see you here. I'll let you get back to your family. Yes, good... my, my family, my daughter and my wife stayed here. My, it, it, she, my daughter is uh, enjoy with the chocolate and fruit. Well, uh, <laughs> enjoy a lot. Wonderful. Carlos, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon, Nicole. Thank you. So before we leave, congratulations, Mirella. This is everyone. amazing. Really filling a niche that doesn't exist oh, thank you. and That's I just everyone. heard that your fruits also you do in dark chocolate so they are yeah. vegan uh, plant-based food friendly yeah 
we have a dark chocolate which is 100% vegan because it's 100% from cocoa without any sugars, any milk, any, any additive. So yeah, that's uh, suitable for vegetarians or vegan and it's actually delicious because the combination between the chocolate and the fruits, with the fruits they have their own sweetness, uh, that's, the, that's delicious. I that's am really so good. proud of you. You've taken a passion you took the opportunity of lockdown and you've turned it into this amazing business. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Lots Thank of business. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Let's hope so. And here comes Gabriella. That looks amazing. But so do you. <laughs> Martin, you play beautifully and Alendal cannot sing your praises enough. He says you can play any genre, you compose. In fact, it's very rarely I hear Alendal gush over a fellow musician as he did with you so an honor to meet you and thank you, you... And thank you ellen <laughs> yes, uh... where are you from well i was born in southwest africa in namibia which is now namibia in a place called swakopmund next to wolfus bay it's really the other end of the world um but the f our family moved to cape town so most, much of my childhood has been in cape town and then I moved to Holland because my parents are Dutch and they returned and I thought I should go and have a look and see what's, what Holland was like and I, I just stayed there. And how long have you been on the coast or are you visiting? I, no, I've been here, yeah, I'm a resident here now and I bought a little place, a little studio place where all my music and everything happens and I've been being here for about nine years now. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit in Poco. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you here contributing at this fabulous event. It's a gorgeous place, and I'm stopping you from eating all your lovely all my, little, my little cakes. Your that cakes have been and strawberries are nice. safe yeah. for you. Normally, do you perform around the coast, or is it just with bands and groups and for serious? It's, yeah, it's a bit of a mix, but I tend to go out on my own a lot because there's a, a lot more work for a solo musician. Um, I played in Sota Grande for many years, in the port, uh, where this kind of music went down really well. But I have played at La Sala down the road with, uh, with a band and uh, played with L&D as well, of course, and we've done a lot of work together. So, as a musician, you have to mix it up a little bit, you know, you can't stick to one thing, otherwise you'll just starve and you'll have to eat little cakes and things okay well we won't put two and two together there. <laughs> but it's really lovely to see and i'm sure now that we've actually kind of like consciously met that i'll be seeing That's more of nice. you around yeah, the coast I'm happy to have a chat with you look forward to the next time excellent How lovely to see you Hi, nice Miss Bavardi, to see you. which is just down there oh, bye bye, bye. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. Come and visit us. We have everything, even dogs. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the program and supporting local businesses and charity. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And remember, you can check out recordings of all the programs from the RTV Marbella website or a quick, easy link from my website, NicoleKing.es. Take care. We can change if we try. Just believe it.